So to say, it sounds like you're telling her you want to be her dad, but deep down you're keeping a door open for more. He admits I'm right and thanks me for calling him out. I just made you come with one finger. Imagine what I can do with the whole hand. I have a very good relationship with my father. And to be clear, my father did not import me from Eastern Europe. Just out of, you know, just for, just in case you were wondering, really. A little over a week ago on the channel, we covered something that was, in fact, that situation. Two people, forget their names, guy, girl, Danny and Christy. Unfortunately, I could not pursue that first young lady because I actually started having feelings for her. She was a very beautiful young lady. They adopted an 18-year-old woman from Europe named Ileana. Okay, interesting story. Didn't even know you could adopt adults. Well, oh no, bro. Neither did a lot of other people because they already canceled the show and it saw it. They deleted it off the internet because it's weird. If it was my poster, I'd want it to say, "Welcome to Ohio. Where's my blowy?" But <laughs> and it, you remember how weird it was, Danny. Very inappropriate. How are you gonna be with us spending time together alone? Oh. Obviously, I've gotta be appropriate. <laughs> Many such scenes of him being a freaking weirdo. And there was more episodes than what we covered in the very first one. The same shit happened. Same level of weirdness. Danny, weird guy. Christy, very strange enabler. Feel bad for the entire situation. Ileana seemed healthy though. She seemed like she was in a good, like she was very mentally like stable kind of like, you know, like uh -huh. she seemed to be able to handle herself to an extent, but I definitely think Danny. I have spoken freely about my past indiscretions. I cheated on my wife with another woman. There's just no other plain way to say that. He wasn't adopting a daughter. He was buying a new girlfriend, it seemed like. You said that you were thinking about getting a tattoo of your baby's foot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Christy have... doesn't have any. I have, what, three, honey? I do have an obsession for guys who have tattoos. Dad bods and tattoos, oh yeah. <laughs> So is this adults adopting adults or A&E, the TV show condoning human trafficking? I didn't say that. That's not my own opinion. That's just what the internet has been saying. You know, I don't think that A&E condones human trafficking by any means. I do think Danny's really weird though. And the show is sus. The deleted episode and clips that were on YouTube sort of go something a little bit like this. So the last week's had a few bumps. I think it is going along um, at an amazing pace. I think Christy is really settling in quite well. It's two weeks after Ileana moved in with Danny and Christy, and they both have wildly different takes on how things are going. As you may expect, based on the first episode, with clips like this. If you were willing to share our marital problems, this would be a perfect place for you to do it. <laughs> the deleted episode was recorded in a vlog type style on their phones for each of them. Danny is nothing but smiles and euphoric. Can't tell you how excited I am. I get to be uh, a dad. In fact, the world to him is sunshine and rainbows. He's got two girlfriends. That's a major dub. Life couldn't be any better for the creep, for the creepy bastard. And the first time that Christy was shown in the episode, she was puffy eyed and red from crying while filming her vlog. She is a crier. She's a bit of a crier, bit of a, uh, you know, maybe emo, maybe MJ Key and MJ, MGK, maybe MJK. I'm f done, dude. I'm gonna get my f big spoon and just. The paradigm of absolute control. That's not funny to joke about. My head hurts. My head's in pain now. For puffy eyed and red faced Christy, her world was collapsing around her in an incredibly disadvantageous and cringe way. I'm basically here to pick up the pieces of the disaster that's left behind. And that's where we are right now. I write her cheating husband has gotten away with it, as it seems. The title of the video was Chronic Cheater, and it's basically Danny ignoring his wife's worries and adopting pregnant 20-year-old Ileen, 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 Ileen. In the last episode, we found out that he was a cheater. He's been unfaithful in the past. Oh. Okay, if this is the thing that just keeps on happening, I will predict that their relationship will not last. And since this TV show has literally been canceled because of how <laughs> fucking weird Danny is, and the public outcry around the way that he treats his his wife and also new daughter, I can't see that. I th that 
you know, that's not a very strong bond I'm starting to sense. Hopefully she's just not naive enough to, to think he can actually change and become a better person because that's very strange. Or maybe hopefully she's not weak enough to literally just kick him out, but it's hard. I don't <laughs> know. Also, since this video was deleted, we didn't save it because I didn't think it would be deleted, but this is so hilarious and so strange. And I really want to let you guys kind of know what happened and why they deleted it. It's very suspicious. So we'll do our best in recreating it here. Early in the video, Danny swings the camera around to show the vlog, his shiny new woman, and she's wearing his tie-dye shirt from the first episode. Hi. She did? Hi. <laughs> very, very strange, all right? Daughter can wear dad's shirt. Not all, not some, not generally a lot of times though. It's kind of strange. Danny appears to be self-aware in this episode that it's strange that he has in fact adopted an adult. He is quoted as saying, Ileana is, is not, not like, like seven. seven. Yes, that is true. Because if she was seven, he, this would be an episode of Cops, or Chris Hansen would be asking you to take a seat, Danny. There's also a fucking wacky ass angle in the vlog where he's just like holding his phone. <laughs> you can just see his. Joe Biden, Governor Doctor, to you. It just looks like old boomer shit on Facebook. Christy's whining and moaning and she's sad. It's been two weeks. There's a stranger who's living in my house. We get it, all right? You shouldn't agree to this. You shouldn't have agreed to this, okay? Okay? Christy, you... Mm. Both of y'all walking on thin ice. In the episode, Danny says it's a bonus that Ileana is having a baby because he gets to be a father. I get to become a grandfather. And a grandfather at the same time. He's acting as if he just got in line at McDonald's and is taking advantage of the McPick 2. He's treating it like a clearance sale. It's very... Living humans from Europe. He doesn't really treat Ileana and Christy like they're people or human with their own feelings and life experiences. Everything's just kind of in, in relation to what he wants and how they can benefit him, whether it be, you know, kissing on them or asking them for a blowy when they first get into Ohio. Cause that's something he did in the first episode. In general though, he doesn't really seem to care that much about the people around him, which is unfortunate because Christy seems like a nice lady. And so does Ileana. Ileana seems like a very nice woman. In this episode, it does appear that Christy is legitimately at her limit. She's like a fucking cartoon character. <laughs> blowing steam out of her ears. Christy feels stuck in the episode as her eyes dart back and forth, like she can't even comprehend the situation that she's in and has to be the adult in her relationship. I'm ready to, to cut ties. Because Danny's literally a child and he also adopted another child, which is fucking weird. Well, 20 year old, not really a child, but still young. Ileana is not like seven. Christy goes to meet up with some friends who are more concerned about Danny than Ileana, which I'd say is probably reasonable. Ileana seems fine. Danny seems fucking creepy. I think we should make that very clear, by the way. Nothing about Ileana is strange in this entire show, or Christy, really, aside from some weird kind of enabling stuff, but you don't know the entire situation or experience. Danny is weird. That's the bottom line. <laughs> Just quoted Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's the bottom line. Danny, yeah, hell yeah, Christy. Yeah, adopting adults. Yeah. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so. Ileana also says in this episode, she kind of refers to how creepy the entire adults adopting adults thing is anyways, by saying you don't know their intentions. When, you, when an adult approaches you to adopt you, a lot of the time, it seems from this show, they're creepy weirdos and their intentions are not clean and pure. And with child, Ileana needs to take care of that baby, obviously. All in all, it seems like Danny truly is the type of person that Ileana was worried about in the first episode, learning from the second episode. Very strange. In the second episode, Christy told Danny that their marriage will not survive bringing someone else into the house and that Danny went ahead with the adoption anyways because he just does whatever, <gasps> whatever he wants because he's a Chad Sigma grind set gamer dude, you know? I want us to work on us before you bring another human into our marriage and you didn't do that. That also gives more context to see her reaction the, here from the first one, from her perspective. You get to actually see what's going on there. The adopted girl came into their lives not realizing how fucking weird everything was. And then Christy kind of realizes that it's all extremely bizarre and just not gonna work out. And that's the whole vibe to the second one. It's so strange. It's one of the craziest things I've seen on the internet. We also find out in that episode that Christy left Danny for six months and was embarrassed of the current situation and the fact that she came back to Danny. 
So she left him and then came back. When you left him for six months, did you feel better? I did feel better probably about myself. Danny made promises, broke them, cheated on her, adopted a child. What the fuck? dude and like everything is crashing down this entire episode by the way it starts off slightly innocuous weird danny's weird and then towards the end christy literally tells danny that she's ready to cut ties and she stands up to him i'm definitely looking at options to leave i'm done and then they went ahead and canceled the show because it makes sense as to why they'd fucking cancel the show dude it's unbelievable literally unbelievable how did how did a TV executives see this and be like, this will do well. People will love this. I'm also a predator. <laughs> oh my God. It got fucking zoinked off the internet a few days ago. And it's sickening to even watch Danny interact with his wife and new girlfriend. It's fucking weird, man. And it's understandable why Christy at the end of the last episode wanted to leave, so. And just in general, everyone is revolted and disgusted by Danny. All comments on every single platform, TikTok, YouTube, Reddit. I'm just kidding, I don't use Reddit. It shows almost beyond a reasonable doubt that Danny has illicit desires and hopefully does not plan on acting out on them. But it's very strange to have any sort of jokes like that to someone you're the legal guardian of. Very odd indeed. And obviously this spills over onto Twitter. Apparently, I can't verify this, but someone tweeted in June, they claim that they worked with him and drove for him as he was a trucker. And this is the threat. It's <laughs> larger than life, dude. It's from June, 2021. He thought she was going to pull over and let him prove that he liked to eat cat emoji. I don't know what that means exactly. So maybe explain that to me somehow, but I really don't know what that means, but we'll see. So very interesting, strange interaction to begin with. The truck driver was in his mid fifties and married to a woman he said he loves, but has never been sexually attracted to. And it's a sexless and childless marriage. He's been busy online trying to find a young woman to adopt as his daughter. Not a child, not a foster, but a young woman. His wife is not on board with it. And the more he talks, the more alarms start going off in my head. And with every turn, he confirms each specific alarm. He tells me that some producers found him online and he signed a contract to be on a series they are producing at a major network. The more he talks, the more I can understand why. His wife is not comfortable with him adopting a young woman he's found who lives in Greece. This woman basically told him that it probably wouldn't work out because the wife's not on board with it. And uh, he replied by saying, sure I can. And he did because we have the show. This is crazy that this happened before before the show was like, a thing. This 20 year old from Greece is six months pregnant with a girl. The trucker explains to me he's never considered adopting a young man, even though plenty have responded to his daddy adoption ads. <sighs> Only young women. Even though they promise things like, don't worry, I eat very little to X-rated stuff. <laughs> What the f The man claims he's not attracted to the girl, but keeps saying yet. So to say, it sounds like you're telling her you want to be her dad, but deep down you're keeping a door open for more. He admits I'm right and thanks me for calling him out. He tells me he's also interested in Polly in the purest sense of the word. And the deeper he goes, the more I'm like, this is an adoption. This is trafficking. Extremely creepy, extremely strange, makes sense as to why they pulled it. And after the episode, people found his TikTok, which was now been annihilated and scrubbed from the internet, obviously. But some of the duets are still around and they're fucking insane, dude. I just made you come with one finger. Imagine what I can do with the whole hand. <laughs> right, that's kind of weird. Racism is alive and well in this country. Unfortunately, it comes from the blacks. Now, TikTok, you know I had to ask myself. Why does this man look so familiar? And then it hit me. When a young 18-year-old girl came, <laughs> came and bought a puppy. Racism comes from the boy. Don't take that out of context. All right, you motherfucker. I was quoting this fucking creep. You want to hear him talk about his big load? No, sir. Me too. Hey, everybody. Um, hi. I'm in uh, Uranus, Missouri. I mean, the guy's a comedy genius. We can't fucking argue with that. LMFAO, am I right? Fellow Facebook users of the metaverse. Oh, yes. There's kind of an idea what my load looks like. There's two of them, and there's two more in front of me. You'll see that right there, that my nuts are good and tight in your anus. a &E just doesn't have the balls for this shit, man. a &E literally doesn't have the balls for this. This is a TLC. We need to get Danny in contact with TLC and see exactly what, it, what, what they can do to help out the situation. All right, because this is fucking weird. Someone said cancel a &E, and he literally responded, this is his account on TikTok. They all should be charged with trafficking. And as you might imagine now, there is no trace that the show ever existed. So good job, A&E.
Good fucking job. I love the uh, modern era of comedy and entertainment and TV shows. It's so good. It's so good. Just keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up and I'll have a job. Thank you. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, click this and I'll consider adopting you. <laughs> Just kidding. That'd be weird, wouldn't it?